wanted to bring you some information on ways that you can help improve your nutrition and your hydration habits. So first of all, some things to avoid. Now, I know that it can be hard, especially when you're working, you're sitting down a lot, you don't have a lot of time in your day. So this should help out uh, with some possible ideas that can help you out with that. Um, but as far as ways to improve those habits, now, one of the things to avoid is eating too fast. Now, eating too fast creates a couple problems. First of all, it can create digestive issues, which of course, issues of that alone, but also, it doesn't give your body enough time to send a signal to your brain that you're full. So by the time you are actually full, if you eat too fast, your brain doesn't know that yet. So slow down your eating, slow down your bites, set down your uh, fork or spoon in between bites, that'll really help you to slow down. So now our next tip here is uh, calorie counting. Now, calorie counting is one of those ones that it can be a really, really great thing, but also can be something that can have a reverse effect of what you're going for. Um, for one thing, you may be only focusing on calories. Now, calories are important, of course, but if you're only focusing on calories, you may not be focusing on getting those healthy carbohydrates and proteins and healthy fats that you need. So, uh, again, looking at your calories, not necessarily a bad thing, but focusing only on that can sometimes have a reverse effect. So make sure you're also looking at how many grams of carbohydrates are in, you know, high protein, high uh, healthy carbohydrate meals are going to be your best bet. For so that. another one, uh, another big one is ordering out too much. Now I'm guilty of this. I know it can be really hard when you don't have a lot of time. It's really convenient. Um, it's really easy to just order something on DoorDash or you know just over the phone and have it delivered. A couple problems with that. One, you don't know how the food's being uh, prepared, whether it's you know with unhealthy oils and fats. Sometimes you don't know how many calories are in it, so it's gonna be a really hard way to know exactly what you're eating, even if it seems like something that is healthy. Uh, so a good tip with that, try preparing your foods for the week, foods that can be frozen, so that later in the week when you're not feeling like making something or you don't have a lot of time, you can just quickly heat something up. That will be a, a really great way to decrease those cravings to order something that may not be quite as right. So our next thing to avoid is mindless eating. Now, mindless eating, again, something that I'm definitely just as guilty of as much as the next person, but mindless eating, when you're sitting down, you're watching TV, or you know, driving somewhere, doing something, you're just eating because you're bored. Being bored and eating is one of the biggest culprits that leads to um, increasing how many calories you're taking in, which makes it really difficult, of course, to lose weight and then be healthy. So um, be more mindful of your eating. A good way to do that, um, maybe taking up a craft or a hobby, reading a book, things that may keep you from just sitting in front of a screen and just mindlessly eating too much popcorn or chips or, or uh, or pizza or anything like that. Again, I'm just as guilty about that as anybody, but again, best way to do that, be a little bit more mindful of what you're eating. That can really help to keep those mindless eating habits happening. Okay. Last but not least, one of the biggest uh, problems with staying healthy is a habit that's starting to become more common and that's skipping meals. So a lot of times you'll hear about intermittent fasting where, where somebody's maybe not eating breakfast or they're not eating anything until lunch. A lot of times what's happening is when you're eating less throughout the day, your metabolism starts to slow down. Your body goes into a defense mode to hold on to the calories you do have so that your body doesn't start using protein and your muscles for energy, which isn't a good thing. So skipping meals, not, not necessarily a good thing. Um, a lot of times what also happens is you start to eat more calories in your other meals because you're a lot more hungry because you skipped the last one and you end up eating about the same amount of calories anyway. So focus on eating smaller, more frequent meals throughout the day that will keep your metabolism at a higher level. Um, your blood sugar is gonna be at a more regular level uh, and overall will actually help you to overall lose weight over the course of that time. So, right. so as far as some uh, tips for improving your overall hydration, I know this is again something that maybe uh, I'm guilty of probably just as much as anybody else, but one of the biggest uh, improvements that can help out with your health from drinking enough water and help to stave off hunger cravings. There's a funny trick your brain plays is when you're not hydrated enough, it can actually confuse that with hunger. So you end up eating more throughout the day 
which those added calories make it difficult to lose weight and stay healthy or you know you start to gain that weight so again drinking a lot of water helps to stave off additional cravings you may, might have throughout the day um, it help, can help to keep your weight steady again by keeping your metabolism regular um, your body again can confuse that thirst with hunger so drinking water before and during a meal helps to helps to kind of not trick the brain into thinking you're already full but it's not going to make you feel like you need to eat more because there's already that much in your stomach while also hydrating your body um, so a really good trick to knowing how much to drink throughout the day as far as water goes is to take your weight in pounds divide that by half and that's how many ounces of water you should be drinking throughout the day so for instance I'm about 175 pounds. So you're talking 80, 90 ounces of water throughout the day. Drink as much as you can. If you can't get that many, you know, if you have a struggle to drink that much water throughout the day, just do what you can. But that's a good, a good little tip is try to drink about half your weight uh, in pounds. So again, if you're 200 pounds, 100 ounces of water. If you're 100 pounds, 50 ounces of water and so on. That's just a good starting point. So, like, um, so again, those were your tips for hydration and nutrition that I have for you on this Move Monday. We'll have more recorded workouts and live boot camps coming up soon. Um, any questions, as always, feel free to reach out anytime. But it's been a great uh, Move Monday and I look forward to seeing you again soon.